What's up, YouTube? No. What's up, YouTube? No. Hola, YouTube. I don't even know Spanish. Hello, YouTube. Welcome to my channel. What's up, YouTube? I'm William, and this is the Road Trip Ranch Show. This is the Road Trip Ranch Show. This is the Road Trip Ranch Show. 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 This is the Road Trip Ranch. Welcome to the very first episode of the Road Trip Ranch Show. Before we get started, I need you to subscribe to this channel, like this video, comment, and turn on the notifications. The Road Trip Rant Show is pretty much me going on a road trip ranting with your favorite internet influencer or celebrity or whoever you want to see on my channel. Whoa. So my first road trip ranter goes by the name of D Breezy and I'm on my way to go pick him up right now. YouTube, so we got my first road trip ranter goes by the name of D Breezy. What's that? <laughs> Welcome. How does it how does it feel to be on on the road trip rant show for the first time? I'm excited because I feel like I'm a part of something. Because when you start getting popping and locking, I'm gonna be like, Well, I remember I was the first <laughs> guest. First Don't time. forget me when you start popping, brother. For real. What was your last road trip? Where did you go? And like, who who did you go with? My last road trip. I went to North Carolina for my grandma's funeral. Oh, that's, um, that's really sad. God rest her soul. But it's it was a happy time because she lived her life. She was 102 years old. Okay. Yeah, so she saw like everything. She okay. saw slavery. She saw... No, she didn't. She didn't see slavery. <laughs> she saw... <laughs> She saw segregation. She saw women's rights. She saw all of that. Like, yeah, she she witnessed a lot. And she made a whole legacy. Yeah. Come on now, so she lived. She lived her life. We. She's a Virgo too, so we shared that. I always called her every year on her birthday. That was the only time that we spoke. But yeah, her birthday is a couple days after mine. So did she have a lot of grandkids? Yeah, she has a lot of grandkids. Like, okay. I, I know I got a lot of cousins and stuff somewhere. Anyway, somewhere. Yeah. So what is your next road trip? Like, where do you want to go? I'm where? trying to go to Ocean City this weekend. Okay. I'm excited. Are you turning up or you just uh, It's the start of cancer season so I just want to go out there and um, cause you know cancer is representative of, of the crab. Okay. And the crabs belong where? In the water? On the beach. Okay. Crabs have this ability to be on sand on the beach and in the on land and water at the same time and they're in the most nutrient rich spot. And the tides come up and down, up and down. Basically how cancers be in their emotions, their feelings, up and down, up and down. And basically that's why cancer is represented by the crab. Also, the, the cancer is also ruled by the moon, the moon, the mother, things of that nature. So the moon also controls the tide. So I want to be, cancer season starts tomorrow actually, so I'm a little bit late, but I got to work. I'm going to go to the beach tomorrow and just be one with the beach and one with all the cancer energy that we're experiencing right now. Right. It's so beautiful. So speaking of astrology, what made you get your start in astrology? Like, what did you like? Hmm, let me get into that. Let me let me research that more. What made you dig deep into? Let me dig. I've always been into zodiac signs ever since I was younger. Okay. Um, I always was familiar with me being a Virgo. Always knew that the signs of the people. I didn't know why I was connected to that. Or why I was, you know, why that. I just I just like knowing about you know astrology and people's signs. But growing up. Um, I, I really got into a stronger like looking at the signs of my friends and looking up. But what really did it for me was when I learned that there are birth charts and everybody has a specific birth chart. And that birth chart is basically the energies that was going on in the world when you was born. And that really changed my life because astrology is not just I'm a Virgo, I'm a Capricorn, I'm a Sagittarius. It's deeper right. than that. It's like got a whole birth chart because I always knew I was a Virgo but I felt different from the Virgos that I read about in newspapers and horoscopes and stuff like it didn't really fit me with astrology it never ends really? it's like you always digging deep you planets is always transiting and you got friends and then it's just it's, I, I never end so it's, it, it keeps me busy and that's what got me into it that's what make me want to study it more like I wish I knew everything in the world about astrology nobody does but I want to, and that keeps me going. You know what I'm saying? So, what are you currently learning now about astrology? How 
Mars and Cancer is affecting the people around me. And I just think it's so funny that we got all this Cancer energy going on right now. And a lot of my friends are going through some Cancer energy yes. shit. It's an important aspect to me. So I want to know everything about everybody right now. How y'all feeling? You know what I'm saying? All right, so I noticed on social media that a lot of your followers come to you for advice on relationships. That's true. I don't know why. I don't know why. <laughs> Stop! All right, so what is a good gem or what advice can you give to have somewhat of a perfect relationship or to strive to be in a good relationship? Love yourself first. You can't love nobody right unless you love yourself. That's the best gym I got. People think that they love themselves and they don't because if you love yourself, you wouldn't be in a lot of the relationship predicaments that you're in now. You wouldn't have a lot of relationship problems you have now because you're looking for that other person to love you the way you want to be loved. But the thing is, you only want to be loved by somebody else because you're not loving yourself. I think that should be step one in the relationship before you get in a yeah, relationship. Yeah, before you, you can't be in a relationship if you don't love yourself. That's but some, some people don't even realize they don't love yeah. themselves until they get in a relationship. Yeah. So all of you guys need to step one, love step yourself. Step one, love yourself. Period. Damn, that's the only gem from this video. Step one, <laughs> love yourself. That's the step one to everything in yeah, this world. Yeah, to life. Step life one, period. love yourself. Period. What? Exclamation point. What? All right, so 2014, that's when Vine was popping. Mm-hmm. And that's when I downloaded the app. I was like, okay, what's, what's going on? I remember it was uh, Black Rank. Mm -hmm. It was teen. Shout out Super Sam, Tokyo Vanity, make Ash Ho. Yeah, I love all of them. I can't. They gonna be on this Nick show. Nick They all gonna be on this show. They bro. Is. I can't wait until they get they on this is. show. What made you pick up your phone, download the album? Like I'm about to do this. I'm about to be Vine famous. I'm about to get all these followers, have people loving me, liking me. What made you get your stock? I, I didn't know all that was gonna happen, but. I was I always been an avid Twitter user. I was really? on Twitter. I I was the first person on Twitter ever. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an avid Twitter user, and I was using Twitter forever. Even when Twitter was dead and nobody was on it, like nobody, I was still tweeting. Really? I was I was sending text messages from my phone. So Twitter had got back fake popping a little bit on Vine because Vine was connected to Twitter. I'm seeing all these corny ass Vines. I downloaded the app. It was even worse. All these revives, all these followers, and they, I'm like, I'm about to get on Vine. I'm about to have all these thoughts. I'm about to be way funnier than all these niggas. So, I'm about to get on Vine and be popular. So Twitter and Vine was popping before 2013, 14? No, Twitter was. Okay. Not Vine. Vine ain't start until like 20, 2013. Oh, okay. Or 2014, 2014. Okay. My most memorable Vine from you was my pull-out game strong. If you don't believe me, just ask my kids. Oh wait, I ain't got none. Cause my pull-out game strong. Can't never forget Vine. That's just yeah. like my like. This is just like my my stomping grounds. Yeah. Like that's where I, I put my foot into the social media planet. You know what I'm saying? So I can't never forget Vine ever. So. I don't know about you, but I'm hungry. I'm hungry. <laughs> I'm a vegan. Dude. I only came in for the food. I didn't come in for no damn question. <laughs> I, I don't eat meat paws. I'm just a vegan. When you become a vegan, Will? I am 32 days in being a vegan. Okay. All right. So are you down? Sure. To get, all right. All right, y'all, so we got new vegan. If you want a king, you need a new vegan, my you favorite vegan king. restaurant ever. Really? My favorite restaurant ever. I'm always a new vegan. I always get steak and cheese, but you gotta I try, to, I try to switch it up today. Mm -hmm. This is the Mac, I mean, this is the Mac right here. Got some candy yams and the lasagna. All right, so I got the chicken drummies with the macaroni and cheese and the string beans. So, we're about to get into it. About to. Are you 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 already there? If you were an animal, what animal would you be? And why? An elephant. The biggest animal in the jungle. And nobody messes with the, with the elephant. That's Come my on. animal. That's my spirit animal. A tiger. 
I like I, I be an elephant. Just cause I love elephants. I love what they stand for. They just yeah, like good luck. big majestic um beings. I always loved elephants since I was younger. But I be a tiger too. Cause tigers you only sneaky. ever you don't no not sneaky. You only ever see one or two tigers ever. But they don't have a big a big group? No, there's no big group, just them by themselves. <laughs> Mine mine's gotta do some up. You gotta fight other lions for me and that's what you gotta do in real life. No, not fight, fight for the lion. Then, then you gotta uh, if you can't win, you just gotta be an outcast. <laughs> oh, are you gonna go see Lion King? I am, but Scar was mad because he killed his own bro brother. His own brother. What what sign do you think that Scar was? I think he was a Gemini. Scar was a Scorpio. Scorpio? I'm just Scorpio. Shady, yeah, I, I that's agree. shady. He took that. Um, he wanted power. He wanted. And he did anything. Anything. He wanted, no. He means this? Shut up. He, Damn. He wanted power. He longed for power. He wanted to. He didn't like the way that he was treated because obviously he was the outcast. I don't think Scar was a bad guy. No, <gasps> I don't think he was a villain. Oh wow. You described it. That could be a Sagittarius trait. Team Sag all day. No, Sa no, Sagittarius is he he they I can't do no uh sneaky shit like that. And he would have got jumped or beat up, ate up, beat up by all the animals. Like, no, you had to calculate, prepare, tackle. Other signs ain't gonna care. Other signs ain't ain't all for greedy ass power. So who you think Mufasa is? What sign Mufasa is, is definitely a Leo. Mufasa could be a Leo, he could also be a a Libra. He could also be a Libra ruled, ruled by Venus, cause it's about what looks good. He could have been a Taurus, but um, I, don't, I, don't, I don't give him Earth sign. He was just too flashy, just too. <clears throat> what all, all the animals, we all got to come right here and bow down while you put your he son up. He was the king. <laughs> Bruh. Put some respect on his name. He was the king, so all the animals is. is he is, is the king okay. of the jungle. Okay, right. Whatever, Mufasa. Okay, well, I think he was real flashy, and he ain't have to be. Shoe case know that they came. That was the first one, the sound. Okay. Do you, do you want to be Mufasa? Team Mufasa. I'm out here. Okay. Okay. You, you, you act like you a team Scar out here. I'm just saying. I like vouching for the underdog. That's all. Cause mm -hmm. I feel like underdogs have a story to tell. I they think not. That's, a, that's a burglar trait. That's a good burglar trait. I don't have a memory, huh? <laughs> <laughs> no, the man got a story. Nobody thinks about that. Come on now. Who just kills their brother? <clears throat> what what traits? Since you good in astrology, what traits do you think Sagittarius is have? Loud. Talk too much. One thing I love about Sagittarius is they're they're very honest. Sometimes brutally honest. That's something so, that I, I honor. Because I want somebody to do that to me. I don't want that all the time. And especially if I ain't ask you. If I didn't ask you for your brutally honest opinion, don't give it. And you love it or you hate it, it ain't gonna change them. They're real. But said Italians have a special part of my soul. They want they one of my favorite signs. I love Sagittarius. My dad's a Sagittarius. Mm -hmm. Um My dad's a Virgo. I dated a Sagittarius. She She used to always tell me. Who was my friend and who was my friend? I didn't ask you. I don't care. Oh wow. And she would be 99.8% correct. I don't care if they I don't but I didn't ask her though. But she'll be correct. Was she or was she not correct? She always she always used to voice her opinion about a lot of things, a lot of people. I thought it was a boyfriend, girlfriend thing, but this is a Sagittarius thing, like was she correct? Y'all very opinionated. But was she not correct? I mean, I don't care. Oh. I'm just saying, y'all, that's, that's not the point of the situation. The point of the situation is y'all are very opinionated and y'all for a reason. Because you don't see, you don't see. I've had enough. Is it over? It's been real well. All right, YouTube, that was it with the road trip rant. That's me and Breezy. We signing out.
If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't, give it a thumbs down. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, share this video, and let everybody know what's going on with the Road Trip Ranch Show. Anything else you want to say? Mm -mm. There's nothing else that you want to say. Scott was the best Disney villain ever. That's that's not it. That's not the truth at all. Okay. Because he killed his brother? He was just the best. He had a good heart. Rest in peace, Scar. Get out. Uh, Simba killed his uncle. Okay, because that's payback. He killed his dad. Payback? We still on payback? Okay. Comment.